Look, Samurai is going to be the best Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, and I am here to prove it. In Legends Arceus, Samurai was gifted a new form straight from Arceus themselves. And seriously, look at him. This Samurai, he's here for blood. He's darker, he's faster, he's edgier, and the fun doesn't stop there. With a shiny new form, of course comes a shiny new signature move, Ceaseless Edge. And look, it's got potential. Sure, when you look at it, it's pretty unassuming. Base 65 damage, it's not even 100% accurate. So you'd, you know, I can understand why you'd be like, that's, that's nothing. But you're not looking at the big picture. First, every attack in Legends was weakened a bit compared to the normal games. So that 65 could easily would be a little bit more like 85 in Scarlet and Violet, which that's good. That's good damage. But honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It has a high critical hit rate. So you give that thing a scope lens, 50% of the time you're critting every time. And we all remember how annoying Togekiss and Urshifu were. But I know what you're saying. A high crit move, uh, you know, very cool. Great. Never seen that before. But this high crit move also does something else. Now we don't know for a fact what it does, but we can make a couple of assumptions. So, fun little fact. Ceaseless Edge and Stealth Rock have the exact same description in Legends. Meaning that there's a good chance that when Samurott makes the jump into Scarlet and Violet, every single time it attacks it'll be setting up dark type hazards. So you can switch all you want, but you're not escaping the wrath. While we're on the topic of trying to escape though, are you haunted by the ghosts of your past? Forever wondering where you went wrong? Wondering how things got to this point? Wishing you could go back and do things differently? Well, good news, because Samurott's new dark type lets you hit those ghosts for super effective damage. You're also smacking around psychic types, but that's not as exciting. This crisp new dark type lets Samurott be immune to prankster as well. We all know Grimmsnarl was a menace. Let's be real. Tormenting you with thunder waves, turning every first turn into a gamble. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna paralyze me? Well, now you don't need to worry about that because you have the impenetrable wall of Samurott and the problem has been solved. That's not even the only problem that Samurott's solving. The new dark stab with the old water stab lets you hit every single type for at least neutral damage, giving Samurott completely unrivaled offensive coverage. In fact, the only thing that resists both of Samurott's stabs is Samurott itself. And you know, maybe a couple other things. And look, if somehow you still manage to have doubts, which you shouldn't, but you know, just in case, I happen to have prepared these very important calcs that show off Samurott's pure untamed power. So let's have a look. Rillaboom, O-Code. Incineroar, nice intimidate you've got there, O-Code. Gastrodon, let's just terrestrialize, and guess what, O-Code. Thunderous, no fear, O-Code. Sassian, thanks for the torrent boost. O-Code. And Calyrex? Honestly, what joke. I think these calcs make it pretty clear that the only thing that was stopping you from becoming world champion was a lack of Samurott on your team. Samurott's return is a gift, so let's not waste it. Flamingo!